Continuing this example with part D, we're asked in how many years, so that is going to be T, in how many years, so that's a question, will the population of Tulsa decrease to half of the initial 2,000 population? Well, the initial population was 382,872, so if I want half of that, I'm going to divide that by 2, and I'm going to get 191,436. So in how many years will the population of Tulsa equal 191,436? So I don't know time. I want to set up the equation. 191,436 is equal to my P of T function, 872. So I could put a comma over here as well. 0.974 to the t. So again, the tool that we have at our disposal to solve this equation is our graphing calculator. So let's indicate what y1 and y2 represent. So if we go over to our calculator, you should still have your function p of t entered in for y2. So I'm just going to change the y1 value, 1914436. And let's see if the window that we had before will work. So I'm going to press graph. And we see that we're still going to get this vertical line. Now it's going to be less than what we had before. So I'm going to hold off on graphing because our intersection is over here somewhere. So I'm going to need to make my window different by increasing x max. So I'm going to take x max up to 30 and see what happens. We can always change it if it's not the right value. I'm going to press graph again and that's going to shift everything over a little bit and there we go. As long as I can see the intersection then I can go ahead and run the intersect process. So I'm going to draw the graph here and this line is my y1 equals 191,436, 191,436, and then here's my y2, and then my intersection is going to be right here, so what remains is to find the input coordinate for that. So we're going to go to second calc number five, and then go through the questions, first curve, second curve, and guess until we end up with intersection. So if I round here, I'm going to get t equals 26. And let's be sure and write our window because we did not write that here yet. So we changed our input window to negative 10 to 30 and the output was still 0 to 400,000. So our result is 26. So we can say after 26 years, the population in Tulsa will be half what it was in the year 2000.